Cedar Point has finally announced their plans for what they're going to be doing in 2017. And yes, their plans do involve Mean Streak. Now many people have been speculating that Mean Streak is going to be getting the RMC hybrid treatment, or maybe even the GCI treatment. And now, Cedar Point has finally announced what they're going to be doing with Mean Streak. They are going to... Tear it down. For good. Yep, all these theories on Mean Street getting the RMC treatment and becoming a fantastic ride all thrown out the window. They are instead going to tear it down to expand their Frontier Town. What they're going to do with Frontier Town, I have no clue. But all I know is that no RMC for Mean Street, and you better get your last rides on it if you ever wanted to get on it. And I doubt anyone wants to get on it because it has a reputation for being a terrible ride. Sucks for me, because I am going to be going very soon, and I'm going to be heading on Mean Streak, and hopefully it doesn't beat me up. So yep, no RMC for Mean Streak. It's sort of a shame, but we can move on. Next. Alright, now for what we're really looking forward to. Hershey Park has unveiled all of their clues for what they're going to be building for 2017, and they are going to be announcing what they're going to be doing tomorrow. And let me tell you, these clues have really perplexed me. They make me want to go one way, but then another thing they say makes me want to go the other. So, let's go over these clues. And with each clue, I'm going to be explaining something as a theory as to what this ride could be. Of course, number one is we are unwrapping our newest ride, Chocolate Covers Every Side. So, I kept thinking about this one, and then something hit me. There's a ride which Chocolate Covers Every Side like the Hershey's Kissing Tower. If you look at the windows, they're shaped like Hershey Kisses. Chocolate covers every side of the tower. So I think it has something to do with the Hershey's Kissing Tower, and the second clue supports my theory even more. The second clue says, Our exciting new thrill will live high upon a hill. Now, a user named Roller Coasters and More has pointed out to me that the hill is the Hershey's Kissing Tower Hill. So I'm still going with the Hershey's Kissing Tower theory. And something connecting to a future drop tower. Well, I did go with that theory until I saw clue number three. An attraction like this has never been done. Choose your path, there's three ways to fun. This really confused me, because now you gotta think of something that's never been done before. A drop tower's been done, even 40 dark rides have been done before. And clue number 4 says, We are blasting off to new heights, but that's not the end of this flight. And that brings me back to a drop tower again. But uh, drop towers have been done before, and which brings me back to clue number 3, so I honestly don't know what they're going to be doing. Also number 3 says, there are three ways to fun. So they're going to be building three things, maybe. Ugh, I'm so confused. Um, well how about we move on to the video clues? Well, clue number one starts off with some Hershey's and Reese's chocolate just circling around and going around everywhere, and then it ends off with three Hershey Kisses grouping together. Clue number two has those same three Hershey Kisses, creating a formation with other wrapped Hershey Kisses and other unwrapped Hershey Kisses, and then they finally make one large Hershey Kiss. Clue number three has that large Hershey Kiss turn into three, two, and finally, one, with different types of chocolate. And finally, clue number four has a Hershey bar blasting off to new heights, and then the chocolate is falling down towards the ground and going back up again, leaving one little Hershey kiss fly away. Now, another guy known as Just Me has informed me that the second clue has the kisses take the shape of four spinning arms that look like the flying falcon tower. Now you can't deny that he makes a good point. The formations of the Hershey Kisses looks really similar to the Flying Falcons Tower. Just Me says they're probably going to take the Flying Falcons down to replace it with the Drop Tower. But then that brings me back to Clue 3. They say a ride like this has never been done before. Drop Towers are all over the dang place. Unless they mean an attraction like this has never been done before at Hershey. That would make more sense. 
However, it's more exciting when you say an attraction like this has never been done before, ever. Alright, so I have a little task for you. Go to www.hersheypark.com slash 2017. I can wait. You can pause the video right now. Okay, so now you're there. Scroll all the way to the top and slowly scroll down. You can pause the video again here. Did you see it? Do it again. In case you didn't see it, you can see that each and every little chocolate Mercy's chocolate and Reese's chocolate, they're all falling as you scroll down. Look again. You see? They're all falling. They're all going up to new heights, and then they're falling back down. Which brings me back to the drop tower. I'm sorry, but I think they're going to be getting a drop tower, plus two other things. Because clue number three said that there's three ways to fun. So I think... Either they're going to be getting an SNS drop tower, where each little tower does a different thing. One launches you up, one drops you down, and one does another thing. Or a flat ride collection. Plus a drop tower. I'm saying an SNS drop tower is in order. Because Hershey keeps saying that it's one ride. We are unwrapping our newest ride. An attraction like this has never been done. I'm not sure if SNS Worldwide still makes drop towers. But if they do, yeah, this is totally a possibility. So, in conclusion, if SNS still makes drop towers, Hershey Park is going to be getting an SNS drop tower. Clue number three says there is three ways to fun. We already know about two ways that SNS likes doing their drop towers, launched upwards and dropped towards the ground. However, it says three ways to fun. So that means that they're probably going to be doing a new type of drop tower for the third kind. This is what I think they mean about an attraction like this has never been done before. They are going to invent a new type of drop tower. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you thought that this theory was relatively reasonable. And yes, I did ride Fahrenheit and Storm Runner with the new restraints so much better. So much more comfortable, nothing to bang your head into. It was just a great experience. And these two coasters are now some of my favorite roller coasters. I haven't really been on many roller coasters. I've only really been on like 27 different roller coasters. Don't judge me. So what do you think is going to be going to Hershey Park? Again, I want to hear some of your theories as to what this ride could be. And I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. See ya.